this, and then I'm going to play some Cyberpunk, okay? Phantom Liberty, because I've been aching. Been aching for it. Here's the Maverick now. And then you, that way you can get the fucking Cyberpunk drops, baby. Naturally buff. I am 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 naturally Okay, so is this yet another one of these, like, uh, debate ones where there's, like, a trans man involved or something? Like, is that what's going on? Because if not, it's like, this is the easiest Jubilee video of fucking all time, you know? I am naturally buff. I am naturally buff. I am naturally buff. Actually, it's not that easy. I can't... What the fuck? How do they find... First of all, these motherfuckers ain't buff, I, I, I feel like. Assumed one dude was trans? Yeah, because, like, a, a trans dude in that situation would be taking what you could say is, like, steroids. You know what I mean? That's why I'm saying, like, did they, did they, did they sneak in, like... Like, one of the dudes is on TRT, it's this one, and then the other one's, like, a trans dude or something, and then they're like, oh... Uh, you know, we got you, like, you thought he wasn't super yoked, but technically he is on, uh, hormone replacement therapy, you know what I mean? And that is, uh, this guy I suspect is maybe on TRT or something, like, he's just covering up. Alright, alright, <laughs> so, how do you guys train? Training. I just do calisthenics, uh, weightlifting as well, weighted calisthenics, that's my favorite. But I did calisthenics too before. Dude, that's what's up, yeah. Uh -huh. Extreme volume, extreme intensity. I've done like every split pretty much. I've done like... Bro, I'm sorry. There's a sea of fitness in industry influencers. Like, how'd they find dudes who are not really like that buff? Push, pull, Arnold split. But I do bro split. I just do like isolation yeah, split. That's what I do. Yeah. But just got back into the gym. So five days a week. So I am a power lifter. Um, it's pretty low rep, pretty high intensity. Right now I'm kind of like in my off season. So you, you would compete in powerlifting? Yeah. Does anyone yeah. else compete? You? No. no yeah. Yeah. I've never competed I before. I, I will thought say about that, it, but no. I will say that I compete in USA. Bro, they're so yoked. They're so fucking yoked. The microphones don't work. Don't, which is like drug tested. So I can't. Yeah, oh, we know how that like, is. Yeah, like, I, mean, I think Mr. Olympia is drug tested. I mean, I mean. <laughs> and then I do high intensity, low volume. That's how I found I gained the most muscle. About a year ago, I was 120 pounds. Uh, I gained like 50 pounds of muscle in six months. Dude, you're definitely so, juicing. Well, come on, wait, hold on, hold on. I mean, I'm just telling you the truth. Why would I say that if I was? Yeah, okay. He just dropped that. Maybe he is the one who's juiced up because that's like an impossible. I mean, he's probably. What? He's probably exaggerating, right? There's no fucking way. What? What do you think? Uh, How much do you weigh right now? 165. How much does everyone weigh? I'm 165 as well. I'm like 195. Yeah, I weigh like 180, 185. It depends. Like, I went out drinking last night, so I don't even know what I'd weigh. Okay. Okay. Last time I checked was about 185 to 190. Bro, this dude is literally so fucking flexicans or Turks coded. I don't know how to explain it. Like, this dude is the living embodiment of the principle that flexicans are Turks, okay? Is he Turkish? Is he Mexican? You know what I mean? I have no idea. He's both simultaneously. This is the most Turkish looking motherfucker I've ever seen, okay? He just looks straight up like he's got the Turkish uh, uh, facial hair. That's why. He's actually Filipino. Okay, Pinoy gang. Swagapino, also Turks. You, uh, you, you strike me not at all, the calisthenics and stuff. So, like, you're off my radar, at least. Yeah. yeah I'm just feel like being an open calisthenics, right now. Right now. <laughs> so, yeah. like, stereotype is kind of like the natural, like, hardworking way. Exactly. Yeah, like the athlete X. Yeah. That guy. You know, yeah. That guy. Athlete X. Yeah. yeah. Or Chris Arias. Yeah, yeah. that guy's a fraud, stars. though, anyway. Holy. Uh, huh, me? Oh. Yeah. I'm 20. You said most Mexican looking motherfucker. What do you mean? Bro, he looks straight Turkish too. That's what I'm saying. Seven. I'm 23, 27, 19. 24. 24. 26. <laughs> oh. You're the youngest. Yeah, I guess so. Think about this. People who's older has more time to potentially juice but throughout there, their lives. There's, there's a trend right now of like younger. No shot. No, kids juice way more now because of fucking TikTok. They're doing SARMs and shit out here, dude. They're doing over-the-counter oral steroids. Like, it's the worst thing you can do. Because, That's like, literally SARMs. Taking, like, people see, like, C-Bomb or, like, all these big bodybuilders. Mm -hmm. 
as teenagers, like you want to be like them, yeah. right? and so you're gonna think like the fastest way to get there is juicing. Do you guys think that like the, that little kid uh, Tristan is on juice? Uh, I, I think so. I don't know. Think who I know looks that good is. like year round at all times. He's like four eleven. Probably. If you're enjoying this video, I agree with him. By the way, that is my perspective too. If you got, listen, brother. If you got five percent. If you got fucking an insane amount of uh, well-developed musculature and 5% body fat year-round, you're probably juicing, okay? You're juiced to the fucking gills. You're juiced out the wazoo because it's impossible to not, like... No, worse than, like, back knee and stuff. Uh, w one of the greatest tells, in my opinion, is someone who's, like, year-round, 7% body fat uh, and and, like... And you can tell, like, their their muscles, their veins are fucking constantly protruding. Like, they, they have uh, really high, uh, like, I mean, their vascularity is out of control. Anabol is worse than trenbolone? What do you mean? SARMs or any kind of oral substitute for steroids that you could take uh, via an injection is always going to be worse because, you know, different organs have to process it like and subscribe and let's get back into it i could immediately tell when i saw tyler that i was like, it was the shoulders i was like this is a big guy trying to hide under like a bigger shirt i don't know if tyler is is uh juicing actually when i saw him take his shirt off i felt like he might be natty People have always been suspicious, but it's just how I look, I guess. It's not really up to me. It's really up to the person. Can I take 20 seconds to clear myself? Because I sure. think I can. Yeah. All right. So I've been living for like only a year. I started out like my first six months vegan. I'm pre-med at college. So like I support others taking steroids, but I personally would never. So I'm basically, I'm focused on health. And I think it's contradictory to hop on juice. So you guys can question me all you want because you're telling the truth. Okay. How about instead of questioning, we just look at physiques. Duncan is, uh, I think, on steroids. Sure, take off our shirts. Yeah, it's we kind of weird to say that, but let's just do it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know. Bro, none of these dudes are yoked. Like, what the fuck? What's happening? These motherfuckers are taking steroids for no reason, brother. How is this? Like, I genuinely don't understand. Like, two of these guys are taking steroids, right? As we know. As that's what the title implies. So, what the fuck's happening here? Like, if you're fucking taking roids, like, you might as well look the part, right? Like, I get the, um, uh, what do you call it? I get the, the fucking, uh, uh, the, the weightlifter who's not like, by the way, which none of this is bodybuilding, by the way. I'm getting like annoying, but. None of this is technically bodybuilding. Uh, none of this meets the metrics of bodybuilding. Even including that guy in the back who has like the best, uh, who, who has the best body overall. If anything, this proves that you always, uh, what you always say that even with Roy's, it takes a tremendous amount of work. Yes, but like, it will, you would still look a certain way. Like, what are you doing? Are you just sitting at fucking home and not doing shit? are pretty you are worthy that's crazy that they put a better help ad here at, after being like body dysmorphia time i think for yourself or just in general in general yeah i'm very health conscious so i, I would never consider it so it's more of the health than like cheating or like taking shortcuts and or also both. the cheating as well i don't believe in uh kind of taking the shortcut to things in life okay. so what about you no never, never. thought about it Every single dude here has normal bodies, by the way, which there's nothing wrong with this. Like, they all have wonderful bodies. They all look to be in great shape. Just that in order to be a bodybuilder, I would say you, are, you have to have an abnormal, oftentimes even unhealthy body. And uh, these guys are not, like, above and beyond at all. No. Okay. No. Never thought about it in that moment. 
like touch it, get near it? No. Uh, I thought about it only because like every powerlifter, like everyone wants to squat above Especially like a certain amount. Like mm -hmm. if you're gonna compete in like a competition where everyone's lifting like mm -hmm. 800 pounds, but no, I don't really have the aspiration to. And I'm also scared of needles, yeah. so. I definitely thought about it. I mean, you see Larry Wheels like benching 700 or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But like, I'm not gonna act on it. Act Why not? The health? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Also, my parents would kill me. What's everyone's like educational background? I'm going to my second year of college, pre med chemistry. Pre med chemistry. Okay. So you notice how to use a needle. I do. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do for a living? I make like fitness YouTube videos. Okay. So you have a, uh, you have like. An okay. He's he's fucking he he's roided up probably right. I mean, come on. Incentive. I do have an incentive, but I also have a lot of people watching me that has uh, that looks up to me. So, mm -hmm. have you made a video that you're natty? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious in my videos that I am natty. If you watch them, like I'm like always like below average performance wise in them. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think it's always obvious because there are a lot of people that I know, especially like influencers that like if you see them in real life, they don't even look like they work. I wonder if he's the not natty one as well, because then it's like. He keeps defending it. He's like, "Don't worry, brother. You can you can be not natty and not look that great." <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay." Yeah. Sure. And on stuff. What are all your bench press maxes? The most I've done is 215, but I'm gonna try 225 soon. Hopefully, yeah. join two plates. You? Uh, like 365. Oof. 265 or 275. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mine is weak. Mine is like 315. Okay. Yeah, 275. But I have shoulder problems, so I can like rep 225 on incline, but I can't. Wait, what? On incline. 275. 275 flat. Yours is like 315, like like powerlifting. Just like one, one rep. Powerlifting yeah. like with the arch. Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah, I think he's on roids. His he, he said, what did he say? He said like 365. So, yeah, it could. Yeah, I think he's the he's the one who's juiced up. Yeah, that's that's you know, that's a lot. On the flat branch. Either he's fucking lying or he is. I, I think he's. I was suspicious of Damon just because he was also pretty built and he had those traps. He had the shoulders and he yeah. also seemed a little nervous, too. So I kind of. Uh, I, I, all right, I'm locking it. I think he's not natty. Figured that he was trying to hide something. Back arch like a motherfucker? Ah. No, dude. There's no back arch that lets you fucking put up 375. What are you, crazy? Bro, he's not a fucking college football player. What are you talking about? What, what, what do you mean back arch? No shot. No, he's fucking on roids. It doesn't matter how short his arms are. Still be a mole or two moles in the box with you. Raise your hand on three. One, two, three. We voted out the like biggest, like strongest looking guys. I feel like 19 year old and like you bench press like a yeah, lot. That, that also, yeah. I kind of. Yeah, I think it's him and the other guy who are on roids. I think it's him and the second guy that they booted. I think the first guy that they booted is not on steroids. At first, I thought that might be the case, but he has more experience. Uh, he, he has more experience lifting, and when he took his shirt off, it didn't seem like that. I don't know. You think the med student and the YouTuber? Nah, I think I think the guy that they just booted is on roids. Like, when I was 19, like, trust me, I didn't look like you, you know? Yeah. Like, I was, Thank you. I'll tell yeah. you how yeah. yeah. 50 no, pounds bro. of muscle mass, like... 50 pounds to gain within that short time of you lifting yeah. is a little suspicious. I mean, I was I was vegan for the first six months, realized that I couldn't put on like, or I couldn't maintain that muscle. And so Are I started, you still vegan? He has the least gains of them all. Yes, but only 1% of the global population can bench 225. Wait, really? It says lazy gains gaming. Is that true? I mean, I'm shocked that the guy on the left is either lying. Like, the fact that he can't do 225 is crazy to me. Like, he's a fitness influencer who can't do two plays. No shot. Like, he's lying, right? Either he's on... Either the guy on the absolute far left, uh, the calisthenics guy, is, is lying and he can. He's a calisthenics guy. But even then, dude, what the fuck... What what is this pectoral muscle doing then? Like, what do you mean? Why do you have so much? Like, at a certain point, 
your muscles, when they start showing, obviously a big part of it is your body fat percentage. But like, you know, he, he, I feel like someone who has at least pec definition to this degree, not definition necessarily, but like pec meat to this degree should be able to put up 225. Med student is the only reason why I think it might be the med student is that even though he doesn't have a lot of musculature, like he doesn't have, he, he's not very well defined at all. He, I don't think he has a lot of uh, muscular development in general. He said he put on 50 pounds. So either he's lying too. Fuck. I don't know, man. I don't know. Show us your peg me. Dude. I literally every day. What the fuck are you talking about? I used to post when it was summertime, I was posting titty, titty pics every day. I, I, what's up? You know, you're young. You're like, trying out new things. I don't know, like a lot of young kids are like, you know, trying to get into like fitness and just like fast results. Can I see everyone's arms? Is that okay? Just go like this. Sure. No needle blocks. Let me stretch my Why would anybody fucking take steroids from their arm, dude? What the fuck's he doing? What? There's no way he's just looking for, for injection points, right? He's, he must be doing it to, like, deflect. Self-report? No, that's not a self-report at all. Wait, first of all, I went to college in New... I went to a state school, brother. I was in a fraternity. I've injected dudes with steroids, okay? You're supposed to do it on the ass. Why would you do it on the fucking arm? One, there's going to be a literal mark. Two, it's going to hurt your fucking arm. Yeah, looking for... Looking for track marks is silly because nobody's fucking injecting themselves in the arm when they're doing steroids. I'm just looking for IV marks because <laughs> you get a lot of IVs, you tend to have yeah. a hole. IV marks. Show yours. Sometimes they go in the legs, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking for like actual IV oh, to get yeah. tested type stuff. Right. like salty sweet because it felt like a compliment, you know? They think I'm on steroids, I've only been working out for a year, it feels pretty good. Do you think that there is still a mole or maybe even both? I hate this dude, this jubated me because like, I don't think, <laughs> if I saw any of these dudes, I would have been like, there's no, there are no dudes here that are doing steroids. Like, I, I don't think any of them the look like they do there steroids. with you, and you wanna keep playing, raise your hand on three. One, two, three. Are you confident? No. All right, if the box turns red, that means one or two of the moles are still in the box and they will split the cash prize. If the box turns green, that means there are no moles in the box. Motherfucker's looking too happy. Win the cash prize. One, two, three. I knew it. One or both moles could have still been in the box. How? Are you guys ready? The moles can sit forward on one, two, three. Oh, bro. Oh, okay. The moles won. They get the split of the cash prize. Can I ask what your guys' stacks are? Well, I mean, I'm just on test right uh -huh. now, but I've done a little stuff, you sure. know, for sure. So I tell everyone, guys, stay natural. The, the biggest goal in the life is to live on longest and live the healthiest life. But um, if you're gonna do it, do it safely. I'm so do wrong. it with someone who knows how to do it. Do it with someone who's done it for years. A lot of people take stairs and don't work out. That is the most nutty thing I've ever heard. Wait, how was the power lifter who was the fucking pa uh, who who could do 315? Was he lying? and years on end so you could do it the best way possible but always stay natural honestly man chicks don't even like it they like a calvin he's right about that big boy was quiet a few times and he talked it was pro roys do i do steroids for the taste i don't get it I, I i actually don't understand like i mean i get it for him but i don't get it for the power lifter if he did if he's doing steroids and he's a power lifter he's only putting up 315 
No, the other dude does 365. He said he does 315. Klein looking guy. No, the fucking natty guy was doing 365. And the fucking steroid using power lifter was doing 315 when he's probably got like a fucking 20 to 30, maybe 40 pounds on the, uh, the natty guy. The fuck? Getting stupid built, I feel like it's for, more for the male gaze than the female gaze. 100%. 1 million percent. I mean, that's why I always joke about, like, going to the gym is gay as fuck. And the more you go to the gym, the gayer you get. And there's an entire concept revolving around, like, miring. When you look at other dudes and their bodies, it also for it also makes you develop body dysmorphia. Also, very gay. Um, yeah, it's just it's just gay top to bottom. Going to the gym is gay as hell, and the more you do it, the gayer you get. Dudes who get very very fucking yacked out of their minds are not doing it for women. They're doing it for other guys. They might think that they're doing it for women, but they're doing it for other guys. I mean, you see Larry Wheels, like, benching 700 or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, like, I'm not going to act. What? Sword on the box. Three, one. Yeah. I don't like do it with someone who knows how to do it. Do it with someone who's done it for years and years on end so you could do it the best way possible. Why are a lot of roided up juicers, not AC juicers, so close to the right wing ideology? Um, I actually. I mean, I guess it's because, like, there's a lot of, like, forum culture and a lot of, like, looks maxing that's, like, inherently right-wing. Maybe that's where it comes from. It does suck because a lot of the, a lot of the gym bros, like, at least all the gym bros that I know, most of them are the nicest fucking people. But I do think that the entire self-improvement pipeline revolves around hyper-individualism and uh, ultimately lends itself perfectly well to, like, pick yourself up by your bootstraps mentality. Rich Piana was a dangus. <laughs> um, I think that's, I think that's what it is. I get 10 compliments from men for every one compliment I get from women on my muscles, but it's all for me because I'm gay for myself, says Lazy Gains Gaming. Yeah, I, I, um, I don't know. I mean, I think I, I started off on self-improvement and, and the gym because I wanted to not be obese. And I was very insecure. And uh, that's why I started off, but it made me get so much confidence. You know what I mean? So it's like odd that people who work out all the fucking time, who like accomplish their goals and are able to, uh, able to engage in that act and, and see that like, uh, you know, your hard work does pay off at the end. Don't actually, uh, or or they see that and then they don't like. I don't know. They don't become more confident people that are more empathetic to others and and want to help them out. They hate themselves. I mean, you hate yourself in the sense that you get body dysmorphia for sure. But I don't, dude. Are you kidding me? My my whole life, I was I had crippling social anxiety. I was so scared. I was I was very overweight. I hated the way I looked. And um I always wanted to lose weight and I worked really 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 fucking hard my whole life and failed to do so until I did. Until I was able to do so. Over the course of 1 year, I went from two, 320 pounds all the way down to basically 225 pounds and I was able to keep off the weight as well because I I changed my lifestyle. I was able to do that. It was the most, it was the hardest accomplishment of my life, uh, 100%. Because it was something that I wanted my whole life. And once I was able to achieve it by changing my habits, I knew that, you know, I could tackle most difficult things as long as I put my mind to it. As long as I throw my body at the problem. As long as I consistently work at it.
even when I'm not seeing those gains immediately, even when I'm not realizing the changes that are happening immediately. It was the most difficult accomplishment that I have ever achieved to this day. And I, I don't know. I don't think I'll ever be able to uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to achieve something as as difficult. It is the most difficult thing. Um, but I know that the confidence I gained from that is what allowed me to tackle other issues. If I saw an area of weakness, I would say, you know, I'm just going to focus on this. I'm going to work really hard day in, day out, regardless of failure. I'm going to push through it and I'm going to be able to achieve whatever goal I set for myself. I was actually dog shit at... Uh, being a a commentary guy I was so bad at it I was terrible on camera I had like a colorful personality off camera but I was really bad on camera I just could not do it I was not comfortable at all and I knew that uh, if I just kept doing it no matter how bad I am no matter how awkward I am no matter how uncomfortable I am there will come a day when I will get very good at it Twitch streaming is one of the reasons like uh, I started streaming on Twitch for that reason because I was really bad off the cuff. Uh, I got to a point at the Young Turks where I was pretty solid in writing and reading a teleprompter, but I was not very good off the cuff. So I wanted to develop that as well. And I did it. Um, I, I uh, got to a point where I'm very comfortable off the cuff and I can't shut the fuck up. Asian sensation. So many Jim bros say you accomplish X, Y, Z with lifting. Why would you be a socialist? The government isn't lifting weights for you. How do you counter this? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're joking, right? 